One of the big reasons to do standing Qigong is that you're cultivating a sense of internal reference points that tell you what your body is doing in space and how it's organized, both physically and energetically. For example, when you start out, if you start and you do exercises that have some wider stances, like take a good shoulder width stance. And I want you to feel the way that that engages the outer muscles of the body, right? It holds you up. Compare that to aligning the joints right through the center of the hip, the knee, the ankle, and the foot. And it gives you a different sense of alignment, or it, it gives you a different feel for what's holding your body up. So here we would say energetically and physically, the superstructure of the body is engaged and you feel big and strong this way. When you dial in now to the side channels, everything from the centers of the shoulders right down through the sides, center of the hip joint, the midriff, the quad, all the ankle joints, if you stand quietly like this for a second, you'll feel, you can start to find a different set of internal buoyant supports. And lately, in one of our Energy Gates classes, We've been playing with finding the lower dantian and finding how the central axis also can give you a sense of support. Now, that's like three steps removed from just saying, feel your body, right? Because most of us, when we start, start out feeling tension, pain, stiffness, strength, right? And all of these things we're trying to kind of move one step away from and we're trying to refine our internal sensitivity to actually then find these more subtle, um, but ultimately more filling and I think more satisfying energetic supports in the body. And that leads to an overall sense of circulation and improved stability. But it's a totally different paradigm. So what we've been doing is we've been borrowing from Dragon and Tiger some of the energetic sensitivity exercises there. Let's do one together. You just rub your hands together for a minute. Right? Wake up the feeling awareness in the hands. This is a pretty standard Qigong exercise. Let the hands separate. And just pulse the hands back and forth. And as you do this, I want you to look for the sensations either in the palms of the hands, between the hands, whatever you can feel. And when you get a good distance apart, just start to notice what those sensations feel like. It can be kind of like putting two magnets together is something people often describe it as, or this kind of like pulling taffy between the hands. And then just when you find a stability point with it, release any sense of force between the hands. Completely relax and let it go. Notice that the hands feel fuller and more connected and more engaged, but you don't actually have to do anything. We're going to take the same technique and now play with connecting the hands to the body. So pulse in and out. And you're aiming at the lower dantian. So just a couple of inches below your belly button, below your navel, first on the surface and eventually into the center. Just pulse in and out and see if you can use your hands to awaken sensation in the body. In and out. And then just like the hands, when you find a distance that feels really connected, go ahead and hold the hands at that distance and feel the sensation. And then just like we did with the hands, abandon all sense of doing everything, anything. Completely release, relax, and dissolve the energy that you're engaging and connecting.
And I'd encourage you to stand here for several minutes and just wait. See how the sensation unfolds. See what you notice. And then the last thing that you want to do is you want to put the hands down, rest the arms by your sides, and just see if you have any residual feeling deep in the center of the body. So again, the process is to activate from the hands, learn what those sensations feel like, learn how to have one active hand and one passive hand, explore that game first, then direct the hands toward the body, play the same process, and finally, without the hands, see if you've awoken any kind of feeling awareness there in the center of the body and see what that does for you. So good luck with that. The big idea is to find internal reference points that aren't pain sensations. And that's how we start to build up our awareness of, from, in Qigong from the inside out.